And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On this episode, we get the 50-50 challenge. This time, it's Turku or Tampere. 50-50 challenge for two of Finland's largest cities. Yes, this is created by me. I created today. Each city should have around 300 locations. I did the uh, circle around each city center. So this should be interesting. We're going to play two games. We're going to see what score I get on this. Could be difficult. We're also going to do this as a new move challenge. So uh, going to be a little difficult, like I said, but hopefully we'll learn a lot about Turku or Tampere city centers, what makes them unique, what makes them different. If you're from Turku, let us know. If you're from Tampere, let us know. Let us know what city you like. What city's better, Turku or Tampere to visit? What better? What city has a better hockey club? Uh, and uh, love to see if there's a rivalry here, which I assume, and I sounds like there is. So let's go. Um, hmm, this feels okay. So it says Tampere down there. So I'm gonna guess this is Turku. We're looking north. There's a hill going north. If we're looking north in Tampere, you're probably running into water. Um, No, Scandic Tampere City, right there. So this is, uh, we should get this one right out of the gate. Everyone should pretty get it, pretty much get this one with, with the clue there. Tampere City, wow, I'm surprised. Why did I think that that was, oh, you know what? I was thinking this sign here was saying Tampere, but I guess the white sign means it's closer. If it was blue, it would have been further. Again, I could be wrong on that. Um... There we are. I think we're here. no. There we are. Top of city, right in front of the four four star hotel. Sticky Wingers, Don Franco. So a lot of cool things there in Top Array. Five thousand points. We are one for one. Gonna mark that down for the first game. Okay, so this is where I was thinking is gonna get a little more interesting. We've got rocky outcroppings and a park. And look what looks like to be like an English style Tudor home, but it's not. It's a unique architectural style. Uh, looks like a wolf there. Looks like this looks like an old hotel, not old but older, that might have been converted into a. It almost looks like an old Holiday Inn. And maybe converted into a. Um, office building I think we could be up in an area like this Monty Maki let's take a look at Tampere Yeah, I'm going to go for Monty Maki on this one, Turku. There we go. Not too bad. So, got that one. We're two for two. There we go. Off to the third round. Train tracks. I know some people are going to recognize this right away. Um, an Orthodox looking church. Sokos. Something that begins with an H. Um, train going south, construction work, worker finishing the window, got a lot of stuff going on, and they're also doing the overpass as well. Um, maybe this is Tampere, the train would go north, right into the city, right? Maybe this is like the new Solo Sokus Hotel Ilves. Maybe that's Hotel Ilves. Is there a church around here? No. 
Um, Okay, um, the Lapland Hotels Arena. All right, I'm going to drop it there for now. I'm taking a little too long for this. Let's go to Turku, make sure. That's going to be more of an east-west, right? Um, maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to go to top right on this one. That's where we are. So, um, yeah, building. I'm sure it's in this building. Price Waterhouse, Cooper's Finland, Finland China Education Association. Um, the event ticket seller on the train tracks. But, yeah, there we go. Three for three. Vastra Strangatan. Maybe this is Swedish, and maybe this is Turku. Are those are those? No, I thought for a second there were tulips. They're not. They're different flowers. And what a beautiful place to bike. Looking south, what do we have here? Turun, something. So we are in Turku. These are the sorts of things I think that. I like to see the cities, the exploration, you got cameras there, but like, you know, the the architecture, like the ornate architecture here is just fascinating for me. Um, the river walk almost, I know in one of my games I talked about the river walk in um, San Antonio, Texas, um, but this, that's pretty cool. I, I really like river walks. I like the sea and stuff like that, cities along the sea. So we're here. Um, Cafe Art is actually where we are, so we're right about there. Let's go for that. There we are, 5,000 points. Got a couple perfect scores this game, but more importantly, we're 4 for 4. Um, we get off to the fifth and final round. And is it Turku or Tampere? And I might go because of the street sign here Tampere. We've got Tampere, so pretty easy game with the clues here um so i guess there probably could have got better score on that one but doing it but uh but in any case five for five so hopefully you're five for five Tom right what city has the better food too or is it just the same um but i see like raventola sippy we caught tampella tampere technopolis asimak Kuskus, Raventola, Kushika, and uh, there we are, 24-3-6-8 for the first game, Turku or Tampere, yeah, I've explored, I've played this map, we get on to the second game, no move challenge, we should do, should we do a no move, no pan, no zoom challenge? That's what we're going to do for the second game. We're going to make it a little more difficult. We're going to invite you to play along. The play along link will be in the description below. So, yeah, we can't do anything other than just watch or look at a picture here. So, let's go. Here we go. We can't turn around. <laughs> and I don't have a clue for this one. There, it looks like a salt box here. Uh... I'm just going to make a quick guess. What do I think? My first thought was Turku. I'm going to go with Turku. I'm probably going to lose points on that. But I'm going to stick with that. Wrong for the first one. So, <laughs> next one. Turku. Because we got the yellow bus. I know that now. Um, Centrum. We've got... Halonen. I'm not sure what that is. I've seen that a couple of times. Anybody could let me know what that is. Uh, but anyway, Turku. 
Furun. Uh, there we are. So we are one for two in the second game. The brick here, I've got to say it's Tom Bray. There's a church at the end of the street. The brick, I guess, could be Turku. But on the architecture, I'm going to go through Tom Bray. There we go. So off the architecture, I got that one right. Two of three. Tom Perret. There we are for the third round. Fourth round. Um, again, if I go off the architecture here. And you know what the other thing is? I, I'm What I'm realizing is, okay, so we've got some a little bit more hills in Turku. The wood frame or the wood siding is Turku. But the thing I noticed here, and I can't really read the signs, but there's two languages, and I'm going to guess that this is Turku because of this. The guy with the long shorts, he's probably from Turku. What would a person be called if they were from Turku or Tampere? That's the other question. You know, um, just curious how you would say that. Um, because this guy could be from, maybe he's going to play tennis. and He's on the tennis team from Tampere that's going to play Turku in a local derby. Um, but I'm going to go Turku based upon that sign over here and some of the wood architecture. Which, the other thing I was thinking about with wood architecture, here we go here, south of the river. Uh, there we go. So it was Turku, 496 yards away. Uh, I know there's a lot of wood. It's always interesting to me where I see a lot of wood near water or salty seas or just because typically wood will warp. So I, and it's just interesting to me to see that. You would think that there'd be more brick or more, I guess, uh, concrete, like, things that you'd see in Ireland. Um, but yeah, I see, for whatever reason, it seems like there's a lot more wood structures on the southwest coast of Finland. So we've got three for four. We're the last round. And as I look at this, I see brick. I see this general design. I see water. But more of the brick. And then all of a sudden, I look over here to my left, and I see, I'm not sure what that says, but I know it says Tamp. I'm going to say it's Tom Perret, and I'm going to go for Tom Perret on this one. Hopefully there's no, I'm going to go over near Finlayson. I was the right street. Look at that. How about that? I just thought we were at the day spa studio, feel it. And it said we were near the spy museum. So I noticed Earlier, there was down here, and so the one thing about playing this game in the city center, I'm starting to really understand the city centers, and 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 obviously the best places to visit. But I see this as a Lapland hotels. We're here. I see this intelligence, probably intelligence organization, and I see the spy museum, interactive museum of espion espionage. And it's interesting. Is there something with spies? There's got to be a story behind Tom Perret, uh in that because um, and we got here exhibits on labor in Finland's independence. To me, again, this Tampere seems like a very interesting city from a historical standpoint. And some of this stuff leads into it. Finlayson, the guy from Scotland, um, a lot of interesting things. I know that we're going to play the Tom Parade game again. We're going to do a Turku game. If there's any other games you want me to play or a 50-50 game you want to create, it could be Olu versus Vasa or something like that. Um, create it. Let me know. Let me know in the comments or send me an email uh, or check me out on Twitter. Um, there's numerous places you can get in touch with me because uh, there's a lot of great games that I'm missing. This one I had to create myself. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, but this is fun. Turku or Top Ray, which one's better? Let us know. With that said, what do we get on this one? 19,374 for the total. 9 out of 10. A 90% score. So that in our world, well, I'm not sure if that's an A. Uh, some schools it's an A. Some schools it's a B here in the United States. I don't know what your scoring is for students in Finland. But for me, that's an A. 90 out of 90% out of 100. 
9 out of 10, not too bad, especially since I have never been to Tampere or Turku. With that said, enough of me talking. Hopefully you have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.